Dang. Holding this and balance vibrations, family. Peace, fam. Holding this, family. Hey, family. All right, so today is a beautiful day to connect and share what's hey, in resonance. So, we are um, content today, fasting. And what I thought was fasting and what I'm actually learning that fasting actually is, um, you know, when you want to learn something, you typically go to the elders, you know. And one of the elders that I recently checked out was, uh, we checked out was um, Dr. Africa, Layla Africa. And before, when I would take a, do a fast, you know, you know it's uh, to cleanse the body, to declare manifestations and um, heal the body as well. And no different spiritual goals you might have uh, adjacent with the old thing. And I would just start. You know, I want to start on Wednesday. Bam, on Wednesday. On, on, on Tuesday, we have a nice big meal. You know, something to like the last, the last supper. <laughs> you know? And then get into it. And the day after, dive. Go back, same thing. <laughs> Welcome back. And... What Dr. Africa actually um, explained is gradually going into it. Pre-fast and then the post-fast. And he went from... Like, um, so, yeah, so pre-fast, uh, focused on fruit. So we go into it three days before with a three-food combination, but we're going to do fruit because it's summertime. Three-food combination, the next day a two-food combination, and then a one-fruit. And then go into juices, um, a two combination juice, a one combination juice, pure juice, like juicing, not mm -hmm. fruit juice or something from the store, unless it's a pure juice. Mm -hmm. And then one day of water, and then come back into it with a one combination juice, a two combination juice, and then start gradually adding mm -hmm. uh, your fruits and vegetables back to your diet to mm -hmm. prevent, for one, to, to help okay. eliminate cravings because with that, with that fruit step down, um, you're emptying your colon during that time, which is going to help eliminate the cravings for sugar and things of that nature. And going back into it, just feeling lighter. Um, mm -hmm. exactly. And not rushing back into it, which we know can cause bloating, uh, stomach issues, headaches, constipation. Um, constipation, if you just go back into a whole food diet mm -hmm. from fasting, just jumping back into it. Mm -hmm. And you're gradually going in and out. Pick on me. In and out. So what I did was um, avocados, tomatoes, mangoes. Avocados and tomatoes. And that fourth day was, uh, or the first day was watermelon. Watermelon and some awesome hydrogen water, of course. And then today, cut the watermelon. Tomorrow, it's going to be just avocados and mangoes. Or just avocado. No, just like, no, just mangoes tomorrow. And then uh, water and then the fruit juice, right? Hmm? Wrote it down. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote it down. <laughs> and that's another thing too. Planning the fast. Friday's like, juicing. Right. Right, right, right. Friday juicing. Right. Because I think Sunday was your water day. So Friday mm. was juice. Mm. Saturday was a one one juice. Mm. And you're talking about bringing the pears back. Right, right. right. Sunday right. was right. water. Saturday, yeah. mm. Mm. Okay. So we had a date for Sunday. Right. And then Monday. Right. So again, planning your fast. Like, you don't just jump into it. Like, you know, gradually get your mindset ready for it. And so I just jumped into it earlier this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, jumped into it. The day before I fasted, I and I was, my thing was to break my hold that I had, that caffeine has on me. And I've been drinking a lot of wine. Um, just fun, just fun drinking, you know, summertime. So I just decided the day before that I was going to have a cup of coffee here, latte here, a cup of coffee there, you know, ate a lot of stuff. Um, the first day I was hungry, you know, it wasn't too bad. But the second day, I mean, I went down. My head was, I was, I was going through withdrawal. My head was pounding. I thought it was from not eating, so I ate something and I threw it up because I was nauseous. I mean, I went through like actual withdrawal. So I, the day, what was that? That was two days ago. So yesterday I slowly started to eat more food and today I ate regularly. And tomorrow I'm going to start with the cutting the fruits, you know, three fruit, two fruit, one fruit, the stair step into the fast. And so, and to get my mind right so I can have the mental and physical, I mean, mental and spiritual benefits from it as well. And not being in a state of suffering. Mm -hmm. 
And it's so important to do these things, especially as um, when you call yourself a healer, because you have to be able to articulate what your clients are going through. Mm -hmm. Because now I totally understand when clients are like, I'm not doing it, I don't feel well, I'm sick, mm -hmm. I'd rather just eat. Because that's how I felt. I was like, I'm just going to get some coffee and, mm -hmm. and call right. it a day. I was yeah, back in. And push, I pushed through it, but, you know, you have to experience, you have to know what to tell your people to expect. Right, right, right. Clients, family, whatever. So it's good to go through these and make these mistakes. So you do know the experience. When they say this, I'm feeling like, yeah, yeah, then you do. And yeah. this is what happened. Mm -hmm. And what they can do to course correct or how to push through. Mm -hmm. And some good recipes. All right, so right there, I got some uh, chopped up some cilantro, um, avocados, chopped up some, diced up some tomatoes, and that's it. Tomatoes from the garden. Tomatoes from the garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, Use some uh, chili lime sauce for Trader Joe's. Shout out to TJ's. And Ujumi? Some other little spicy something? Oh, the other Trader. It's like a Greek garlic spicy. Or something, yeah. At Trader, at Trader Joe's. It was banging. So, it's holding the brother down right now. Probably had about three of these today. Or at least, maybe two. But one of the things he also was talking about, like herbs that you can use for... Mm -hmm to add to teas while you're drinking um, during the fast. And talk about, even though break fast, we call it breakfast, you know, with back when I came from breaking fast in the AM. Like people stop eating around six and you fast and so you go fast to sleep. You know, make sure your stomach is empty before you go to sleep. To allow your, the rest of your body can, can focus on you aiding your travels on the other side. You know, actually getting into a complete rest. You know, um, and manifesting there to manifest here, and but yeah, you fast sleep and you break fast in the a.m. and they used to you know have noon would be you know the rising. Mm -hmm. And at one point, some coaches, and uh, when the sun is at its highest point, it's good to eat now. You know, start the clock. Uh, what else we talked about in uh, Doctor Africa? You mentioned on there. In um, that particular one. Just the herbs he went into. No, quasi, quasi, quasi. Quasi. He also told the story of um. Uh, that's just the name Quasi, who was a herbalist, who would use the herb, particular herb for what herb for again? Suppression, appetite suppression. Appetite suppression, because uh, it was a particular time, particular time you fasted, and one of the times in nature that offered opportunities in nature was between. You fast before the harvest because mm -hmm. that's when the food from the last harvest usually starts to dwindle. Mm -hmm. So um, in that time, it's the reciprocation. You're not taking from nature, but you're giving. You're mm -hmm. getting ready to harvest, mm -hmm. and you're giving back to nature um, by doing various things, but not eating and not taking right. from nature during that time because you're getting ready to harvest, which is right. taking, um, partaking in nature's bounty. Right. So. And, and the herb, the herb is called quassia, named after uh, the supreme brother that was a. Uh, there and they, he was actually killed you know they uh, he introduced um, the herbs to the colonializers then or whatever place that he was took it and then took him out but do you remember give thanks to the ancestor do you remember during the, that first part of quarantine like 2019 mm -hmm. when everybody was quarantined and we seen like the earth started to to wake up like it was what was going on? We Skies was clear. Birds were coming out. Birds coming out. Started seeing lightning bugs. Too. Yeah, like things started to come alive because people, humans, weren't consuming as much, consuming as much food, consuming as much as much, um, putting out as much output. You know, with, with the plastic, and trash, and carbon dioxide, um, pollution. Um, so nature got chance to, you know, good chance to reset. Oh, we got to see it come out. It's like, you know, you're hanging outside and the crickets start to, after you shut down your music or whatever, you, if you have a party outside in the wilderness somewhere, you start turning music off, you'll hear the frogs and the crickets and, and life start to happen again because you're not there taking up that space. And fasting is one way we get back to nature. Mm -hmm. Man. Allowing your body to go back to its natural vibrations instead of eating so much. Even myself, like cravings be crazy. And he mentioned also um, the cravings happen 
because your intestine is still full like it's still digesting stuff and the cravings will cease after like the third day where the lower intestine and the large intestine is clear and how we you know we hold our even when we hold our stomachs down here we're like oh this is the stomach the stomach is so high up above the ribs uh but the ribs this dog is getting on my nerves i'm not a fan of dogs i love playing with them and they just keep walking for no reason I'm not a fan of the ribs. <laughs> fido about to go uh, all right so family if any questions about fasting please feel free hit us up so we are fasting it looks like we're, at, we're in different points in our fast. We'll be like simultaneous for the next seven days. Mm -hmm. We'll be in fast, fasting. Fasting mode. And spiritual practices as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, Bamalu. All right, put your goals for your fast. Know why you're doing it. You know, it's kind of like a birthday wish sometimes, too. You know, don't tell everybody why you're fasting. You know, keep it to yourself, you know, because you want to see it manifest. All right. That's some last words, Omolau? Last words? Last words. Hey, sound good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Open this family. Peace, fam. Mm -hmm. Bye, fam.